Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do another book review for you guys. So today I'm here to do a review for Ignition by William Hogg. This is an advanced reader's copy I got in exchange for an honest review from the publisher. So thank you so much to the publisher for sending me this book. This book came out on December 5th. And this is a YA science fiction slash dystopian novel that follows two main characters, the first one of those being William, who wakes up on the day of his 16th birthday and finds out his Change 3 agent status has been activated. And this status is kind of like a superpower, and he has no idea that he has this power, and he kind of has to figure out why he has it and what to do about it. The other character we follow, her name is Grace, and she's actually in a coma at the beginning of this book. And... We don't know why she's in a coma at the beginning and she had her stage or change three agent status i apologize activated a few months prior and again we don't know why she's in this coma but we do know a couple of things that her brother is her brother roland is a super villain he is pretty much the uh, definition of the dark master reincarnated so she's in a coma and pretty much William sets out on a mission to try and find her because he has been kind of getting telepathic messages from her and they have to team up and you know bring down her brother and stop him from you know destroying the world. This book was a very big surprise for me. I did not know what to expect going in personally and I came out with a lot of mixed thoughts. I did enjoy this book for the most part. I thought it was a really good book. If you guys are not the biggest fan of uh, like superhero books like me I don't personally like those kinds of books unless they are written really well I think this would be a perfect book for you guys to pick up so diving more into my review and this review is going to contain a lot of spoilers so if you guys are interested in picking this book up I would pause the video here and go read it and then come back later on and hear more of my thoughts so diving in, we're going to start off with talking about oh, the characters I'm going to talk about William first. William was a very interesting character I thought that he was a good character. He wasn't personally my favorite. He started off be, being kind of a whiny teenager. I mean, he's 16, so it's kind of what you expect from a teenage boy. And I didn't really like him for a good majority of the book. And then as his powers come into play, I really started to like him. Again, he was kind of a typical teenage boy with superpowers, which, you know, you have to get used to for the, the majority of this book, but I did end up liking him in the end. And as far as Grace, I also really liked her. She was my favorite of the characters. I think that we really got to know more of her backstory before, you know, she really came into play and started playing a bigger role in the story. I really liked her character. I liked learning about, you know, her growing up, her brother, her relationship with her brother primarily. She was an interesting character. I end up really enjoying both of the characters at the end of this book. As far as the romance aspect, there is a romance that forms between William and Grace in the middle and the end of the book. And personally, I didn't really like it. It felt a little forced in my opinion, but I can definitely see it growing into something more as the series goes along. This is a first book in a series. And at the end, I still didn't really like it, but I can definitely see myself enjoying it more as the series develops and their characters start to develop a little bit more. And then the plot. The plot was the weakest part in my personal opinion. This book is pretty short. It's only about 240-250 pages long and I really liked it first. It was going really well throughout the first I would say 100 and 150 pages of the book and then there started to be a lot of info dumping and that's one of my biggest pet peeves in books. Again, it was just info dumpy after info dumping and then it just felt rushed towards the end and I think just that's just because of the length of this book. But I did really like seeing, you know, William Grace come together, team up with some friends and, you know, start to bring down her brother. I thought it was really, really cool. Also, I really liked her brother, Roland, who is the villain in this story, Grace's brother, Roland. I liked him as a super villain. I want to know more about him and how he, you know, became this dark overlord. I really want to learn more about him in the future books. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about the characters, but back to the plot. Again, the plot, it was brushed. There was info dumping, but Besides that, I thought it was really interesting to see our characters, you know, bring down this dark force, like I said. And the final thing I want to talk about is diversity. And there is some diversity in this book. It's not a whole ton, but there is some. 
there is primarily a huge focus on Native American culture, which is something I personally have never read about in a book before, at least a fiction book. And I really enjoyed that element. I think Native American culture is something we really don't see a whole ton in YA books. We see a lot in new adult and adult fiction and sometimes even in middle grade, but not so much in YA. And I think it's something that needs to be heard. I, after reading this book, I really want to read more books that focus a whole ton on the Native American culture. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to check them out. But in the end, I love, really like this book. I cannot wait to continue on with the series and I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. And that is all I'm going to have for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Also, if you have read Ignition, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts were. I would love to hear them. I will also have a link to the plays with all my other reviews down in the description bar with my social media links in, list, in case you guys are interested in checking those out. So my Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and blog. Again, those are all linked down below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.